Introducing Timetrix 360 Mobile. Timetrix takes the business of Law Mobile. Timetrix launches the new Timetrix 360 Mobile application to significantly improve invoice management workflow for our prospects and clients. The application is directly integrated with our Timetrix 360 e-billing and matter management solution, continuing Timetrix status as a global leading provider of intelligent solutions to manage the business of law. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Vedetto and I'm a product manager at Timetrix and my team was responsible for creating our first ever mobile application called Timetrix 360 Mobile. During this demo, we're excited to show you how this application provides fast, integrated invoice management for corporate law and claims departments on multiple smart devices. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to show you how the application runs on the iPad, uh, but please know that the feature set and the way that it works works the same across all Android, Windows, iOS, and BlackBerry devices. So to start the demo, uh, if you look towards the bottom of the screen, you see that we have uh, our Timetrix 360 application, and it's telling us that we have seven invoices awaiting our review. So the first thing we're going to do is tap on the icon, and that will bring up our login screen. For those clients that use integrated login, you'll notice that we have a little slider bar. If you tap the slider bar, the third field will show up just like it does in the desktop version of the application. For those of you that don't use integrated login, you don't need to enable that. We do allow the user to save their username on the login screen, but they of course can never save their password. So if I enter my username and then I type in a password, and once I click login, I'll be brought to our dashboard, which houses our carousel. The carousel has a number of different options on it, as you can see, primarily a list of invoices awaiting your review, support, a few settings, and some FAQs about the application. If you're interested in clicking on anything that's not in the forefront, you can simply twist the application. You can simply flick the carousel, and the carousel will move and show the icon that you wish to use in the forefront. Since the application Timetrix 360 Mobile is focused on invoice review and approval, let's tap on invoices to start the review process. What you're seeing now is our main invoice review screen. Much like the iPad mail application, you will see a list of your invoices awaiting your review on the left side and the summary of all of the information contained in that invoice on the right hand side. If you'll notice, there are three main things that we allow you to do depending on your security settings within the Timetrix 360 system. You can approve invoices, adjust them, or reject them. So right now I'm going to tap on one of the invoices that I'd like to review. And you'll notice that all the summary information changed. And as I kind of look down through the invoice information, I see things like flags and review route, uh, firm and vendor billing, in-house review, adjustments, proposed credits, all of these great things that we're used to seeing in the desktop version of the app are all supported over to the mobile version. One thing to take note here is reviewer adjustments on this particular invoice are zero dollars at this point. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and adjust this invoice. Now this is an adjustment at the invoice level only. In a future version we will be also including adjustments and rejection at the line item level. But in this version it's at the invoice level only. So I'm going to choose to adjust by, and I'm going to choose a negative amount, and I'm going to enter that amount here. And then just like in the desktop version, I can choose a reason for this adjustment. And then if I wish, I could type in a narrative. If I don't wish, I don't have to. By clicking Done, we get a confirmation. Are you sure you'd like to do this? If you click OK, you'll see that as we scroll back down, to reviewer adjustments that we now show you that you've adjusted this invoice down by $430. Next, you want to view the line items of an invoice. So let's tap on the next invoice and let's tap on line items and you'll see on the left hand side now you have an entire list of all of the line items that make up this invoice. As you see we give you the narrative, the timekeeper, the date, the amount, task and activity codes as well as their description all the flags, in-house review, adjustments, and any notes that might be on that line item are also displayed here for you. So I've looked through all of the uh, line items on this invoice and, and I decided that I'm going to reject it. So if I tap the reject button, we're given the net amount of the total invoice at the top. I can choose a reason 
And again, I can choose whether or not I'd like to type a narrative. So when I reject an invoice, I must type in a narrative. When I click Done, it'll ask us again with a confirmation, are you sure you want to reject this invoice? And when you click OK, you'll notice that that invoice is now removed from my list of invoices on the left. It was the last one in the list. It is now gone. And now my invoice list is showing me that I have uh, six invoices that are awaiting my review. The approval process is exactly the same. If I wish to approve an invoice, I can click Approve. We get our confirmation. You click OK. And that invoice is now removed from our list, and we're back down to five. That's the bulk of the feature set within the application related to invoice review. Now that we've reviewed all of our invoices, let's go back to the dashboard containing our carousel, and we'll just walk through the rest of the items in the dashboard. First is support. And tapping on support will show you our phone number, our email address, the name of the user that's logged in, as well as the application version. Going back to the dashboard, if we'd like to click on settings, just like the desktop version of the application, we give you the ability to set the preferred currency. Would you like to view your invoices, for example, in the original submitted currency or your preferred currency? And that setting is uh, stored here. Next, we have some FAQs for you. So we've heard from a number of you. There were a couple of questions about feature sets and functionality, what's there and what's not when you compare it to the desktop version of the application. And we've put a lot of those FAQs in the application as they exist today. Simply tapping on an arrow will show you the answer to the question. Last but not least, uh, we have log off. And one thing to note here is that after 10 minutes of inactivity, the user is automatically logged out of the Timemetrics 360 mobile application, and they're brought back to the login screen. So no data is shown on the device. Users are logged out. They're brought to the login screen. And there's a little message on there that says, by the way, your session is timed out. Please log in again to continue. If you don't want to wait 10 minutes, you can actually click the Log Off button. And clicking Log Out, it'll ask you, are you sure? And when you hit OK, you're simply brought back to the login screen. So everything we just reviewed can also be done on nearly any smartphone available on the market. So make sure you go to your respective application store, download Timetrix 360 Mobile, and uh, start using it today.